anger is so necessary to our being human. And it's such a nemesis, right? It's anger is, is needed for survival, for carrying forward. I think that um, a peaceful life is not a life devoid of anger. A peaceful life is a life in which the experience of anger can be a challenge that is taken up and carried forward. That anger that is experienced as destructive often and, and sometimes is, uh, there's a constructive energy at the base of it. All human experience has implicit um, inherent forward movement in it. And so we want to get to what is trying to come in the anger rather than getting stuck in the anger. But what I've learned in my life is that you cannot make peace by avoiding anger. It doesn't work. That to make peace and to make peace is maybe one of the highest callings of every human being. To, to just think about that. That we all have the ability to create, to make. It's something that we make. To make peace. So anger is not the enemy. But we all know that anger, when it isn't expressed, it turns into or it morphs into or flows into hopelessness, depression, resentment, self-criticism, lack of, of juiciness. Um, uh, what we call acting out or manipulating or I mean all kinds of things right when we when we when we suppress that and we uh, repress it and ignore it and eschew it it does all kinds of damage under there and when we just pour it out and um, express it all over the place right? We make a big mess. And then sometimes the mess that's made by just, you know, getting it out, getting it off your chest, that big mess sometimes uh, isn't able to be cleaned up for a long time. And the relating to anger is the most complex, the, the, the greatest challenge, I think, that we have as societies and, and as individuals and, and as individual psyches within us. So one thing that I want to share that some of you therapists know about is, is Kohut's distinction, he's the founder of self-psychology, between what he called anger and what he called narcissistic rage. And I know that's a very off-putting term, but I couldn't think of a better term. Maybe you people can help me think of a better one. Anger is a feeling, like every other feeling, that, um, that points to something, that's a signal that the energy of activates us, that we can listen to and find an action there, something needed. And then the second kind of anger that <clears throat> Kohut called narcissistic rage, and he revitalized um, the word narcissism as, as, a, as, as a kind of self, the, the, the deep self is what he called narcissistic. And narcissistic rage is when, when the sense of self has been hurt. And 
there's a rage that comes with a feeling of disintegration. And Kohat said that narcissistic rage is an experience of, get these words, endless hatred and lust for revenge. Endless hatred and lust for revenge. So I think, you know, we could think about that theoretically or professionally, but we all know that experience, right? I mean, maybe we don't kill people. Uh, literally, maybe we kill them off in our minds. Maybe we kill them in little ways. But we all know the experience of that feeling of being falling apart inside in some kind of way with the feeling of self-esteem being damaged and shame somewhere in there. And that's that shame blame cycle that gets started. And we all know that feeling of the, it might just be even a moment of the endless hatred and lust for revenge that just wells up in us. So the reason that this distinction is so important is that anger that is a signal, it's very important in ourselves or in others to listen to the content. What is it signaling? Uh, the details may be important. Whereas uh, the rage, the kind of rage that Kohut is talking about, maybe it's not the content. Something has been hurt. And the person may be saying all kinds of things that they, they don't, their larger selves don't mean in any way. And the content isn't the thing to listen to. It's to listen to the hurt. The first thought um, is that we listen to anger. And that's the hardest thing to do. The hardest thing, anything that we do that's really relating rather than fitting in or pouring out is very difficult to bear it, to stand with it, to feel that we're angry with the person rather than angry against. That where the fighting energy of anger is fighting for not fighting against. So the first principle or something is not to be in a fight with the fight. Not to be in a fight with the fighting energy in ourselves or in the other. To listen, to listen to the anger. When we listen, to anger, we're listening to the deeper point of it, right? We're listening to the implicit of it. We're listening to, to what it has to say, where it's trying to go, what it's trying to do. The nature of anger and conflict is that it simplifies. When we're in, a, in danger, um, there's fight or flight. There's no room for the complexity of human living in that instinctual basic part of our being. We simplify everything to who's right and who's wrong. Should I fight or should I flee? Um, who did what to whom. And in that simplification, if we're running away from a lion or, or in New York, running away from, you know, from somebody that's going to rob us or something like that, the, the fight or flight uh, instinct is very important there. But, um, but in, in our usual circumstances, 
we need to recomplexify after the anger has simplified. So we need to um, question that right or wrong, us or them, fight or flight, and say, well, what, what's in that anger? What kind of anger is there? There's a million kinds of anger, frustration, uh, annoyance, um, hurt, pissed offness. I mean, we have to find just the way, that's the particularity of that anger. Recomplexify all that's in it. And part of the recomplexifying is the sense that it isn't um, a, a me against you, it's an us that there's a kind of, um, that there's an experience that we, we are interaction, as Jean says, and there's an experience of usness. Um, the third uh, point that I want to make is that, um, that we can make it a something. And that helps us to, to recognize the larger me that has the anger or that's uh, suffering the anger of someone else who's angry at me. And that it's not all of me or all of them, it's a something. And that gives us a little courage to be interested or curious or have faith in that um, deep forward moving energy that's in everything, it's in life and it's in those, in the anger too, right? There's something and that brings the forward movement. <laughs>